folks, Linda here from Back Third Acre. So it's the middle of September here in Zone 9B and I'm going to start doing some late summer, early fall um, preparations with the garden. So tending to the zucchinis, um, tomatoes and harvesting some sunflowers. So stay tuned and follow me along. There's a few tips and tricks to keep your zucchini um, healthier longer so I'm going to go through some of those today and also um, pruning back your tomatoes for that fall um, or late summer harvest and how to uh, force them to ripen a little bit quicker before uh, the cold weather sets in so I'm going to cover some of those things today as well how to ensure that your sunflowers are ripe and ready for picking and drying. So you pick the sunflower heads when they've tilted over and the blossoms um, just brush right off so you can see the seeds um, that are in there. Um, and then you can hang them up to dry um, or just feed them directly to the chicken. So if those blossoms don't just brush off easy like that, then you need to leave your sunflower for a little bit longer, but not too long that the squirrels start to eat them. The zucchini is still growing, so um, so far it's done pretty well with the powdery mildew. There's a, a tiny bit of um, that's just starting to pop up on the leaves, but I'll thin them out uh, today and they will be able to keep going for a few weeks more yet. So there's a, there's a zucchini growing in there and then I can see a stripey kind of one in this big tangle here. You can see it down there. Um, so we'll keep keep these growing. They're looking really healthy. So I'll let those continue for a little while longer. So if you haven't seen powdery mildew before, it starts off um, like that in small patches. And it is a mildew that will take over uh, if it's getting damp. Um, in your environment so it eventually will cover the entire leaf and prohibit the plant's ability to photosynthesize so really weakening the plant and reducing its ability to produce so you can cut those leaves off below where the fruit um, is setting you can also cut off any of these yellow this one has some powdery mildew on here again we're in september mid-september so this is totally to be expected and you can prune off any of those yellow dead looking leaves off your plant as well so this is what things look like after i've done pruning and it looks you know pretty dramatic so if you follow it along this plant has been here for many many months so far but we do see you know that the denseness of the leaves were um, uh, interfering with the bees ability to see the flowers so this um, little zucchini here wasn't fully pollinated so it's died off so we see a few of those that have been happening um, but we do see some you know large fruit tucked in there and it's still flowering so we've got the nice thick leaves um, and growth right at the top of the plant but the rest of it, uh, the leaves, have been stripped off. This will increase the airflow, uh, decrease the transmission of that powdery mildew to other leaves or other plants in the vicinity, and allow the bees to get in and pollinate fruit. So now that I've stripped a lot of the leaves away, this is a tromboni squash. So. Um, Here's a really good chance to see these flowers here that are sprouting up on a long stalk or the male flowers. So there's a few of them there um, and there's even some with the flowers on the top. And now that it's opened up, this you can see is where the fruit um, 
is in behind the flower, that big open flower. So we can take one of these male flowers and open it up and hand pollinate um, that one. And likely here in our climate, we'll get a, a little uh, trombone squash uh, before the end of the growing season. So I've picked one of these um, squash flowers and all you have to do is peel these um, petals back and you can reveal the little reproductive organs of the flower. So that little stalk right there, we're just going to rub it around on the inside of the female flower. So tomatoes are another thing that really need a prune back in the fall before um, you get substantial rains and colder temperatures. So our temperature is still above 10 degrees Celsius at night, but they're starting to, to head towards that 9, you know, and it's not going to be very long before um, we're, we're getting below that 10. So we want to heavily prune back and force these tomatoes to ripen. So you can um, remove the bulk of the leaves and open up that tomato plant um, so that the sun gets in and all the energy from the plant is directed towards ripening the tomatoes and definitely um, taking off any um, areas where it might still be producing flowers. So I've got some here that are still so I'm producing flowers, definitely want to remove those to redirect the energy back into the main plant to keep it as healthy as possible for as long as possible and to put its energy back into fruiting. There you go, you can see how they look after the leaves have been stripped off and exposed the tomatoes to the sun so we can ripen those off um, before the weather turns.